The former finance minister highlighted what he referred to as odd accounting practices which exclude bailout costs, resulting in the differences in the finance ministry's figures and those of the World Bank and other international financial monitoring agencies. So again, whilst we are seeing ambitious, very ambitious revenue targets, we see very conservative, you know, areas. I personally, or our uh, PFM tax, do not believe that our total arrears is 1.9. If you look at wage arrears, you look at what is owing to contractors, you look at, unless some of these have been paid off budget, which itself would infringe the Public Financial Management Act. If we have a problem, it is not a revenue problem, it's an expenditure problem. Only you should borrow to pay capital, not recurrent expenditure. That is one measure of you know, sustainable fiscal management. And then you should be able to pay past debt from your own revenues. You shouldn't borrow to be paying that. And that's why the sinking fund was created. He criticized government for depleting the stabilization fund, among other funds, weakening the country's ability to avert crisis. It's dismantled, stabilization fund is dismantled, you know, the sinking fund. These are the instruments which other middle income countries use to stabilize their fiscal situation. I can bet that the next crisis that will hit us, which is in the future, there will be nothing in the stabilization fund. Because we are cleaning, we are cleaning it. We took 250 billion, uh, sorry, million US dollars for COVID. It's completely depleted. And the next crisis, we cannot depend on it. Nothing in the contingency fund, nothing in the sinking fund. It's going to go to zero.